Hi Crafty Planner, welcome to my channel. I'm Tina. Today's video is going to be a video that is part of my Happy Notes series. And what I'm going to be doing is setting up a Happy Notes or resetting up a Happy Notes that I have. Let me tell you what this Happy Notes is for. And I'm gonna also show you kind of like how I want it to look just a little bit of background. These Happy Notes, I have them specifically for keeping track of medical appointments and you know anything medical going on. So what I've done is I'm responsible for helping my parents out with their medical decisions and I have a notes set up for my mom and my dad, and then this one's actually for myself. It's just so much easier to have like everything all in one happy notes. Then that way, you know, you just take the book with you, you go to your appointments and you put everything in there. You've got like any of your questions, concerns, um, anything that happens during the appointment, you can just write down what happened because you know yourself when you like go to the doctor's office you just hear all this stuff and you're like nodding in agreement and you leave and you're like um what did they say <laughs> it's really really easy to be get a little flustered when you are at a doctor's appointment and yes they're giving you the information that you need but you know sometimes it's nice that you know i'm able to go with my parents and i'm with them in the appointments and I'm there to just like take notes and ask any questions that I feel, you know, come up at that time. And it's nice to have all of that information like right there in front of you at your fingertips. So I'm gonna show you how I set these up and we're gonna redo this one, okay? All right, so this one right here, let's see, I'm gonna move some of this stuff to the side. This one right here is the one that I um, have set up for myself. And what I did here was I took an old cover that I really, really liked, and I just repurposed it and created my own happy notes. And this one right here is like exactly how I want my mom's to look. I'm probably not gonna do this on the front. I'll do something a little bit different, but it opens up and I have, let's see, I have a folder here and then I have a tab, um, a top like dashboard tab. And then I have like four tabs here. So I'm going to be putting four tabs in this one that I'm gonna be putting together today. And I'm going to label them just a little bit differently, but I have like repurposed these tabs. Basically, I found four tabs that I really liked that kind of went with this color scheme, what I wanted in my particular one that I put together. And that's, you know, what I did to set this one up. So you sort of kind of get an idea of how this one looks and how I want this one here to end up looking like. All right, so now I'm gonna open this one up. This was actually the first one that I set up and I was experimenting. <laughs> so I don't like it because what I used were these stick-on tabs, which you saw how easily that came off. And yes, they're great for something I think that's more like a temporary type of thing, but I need to create something that's more permanent, a little bit more secure when I'm flipping things. So because I was using these, I wasn't really able to put them on anything that was laminated that I had created from before. And even on this like cardstock paper, it just, they come off way too easily. On regular paper, they do stick a little bit nicer and they definitely do have a purpose. But for this particular um, Happy Notes, they are not doing me any good. So I wanna get rid of all of those. And a lot of this stuff I'm gonna have to just like, I'm gonna take everything out of here. And there are some things in here that I am going to reuse and put them back in. But before I get into that, I'm gonna show you what I'm going to be using to create this. All right, so what I'm doing is basically I'm repurposing tabs that I had, went through the ones that I really, really liked, and I found four tabs, and I wanted to be sure that I found something that was going to be aesthetically pleasing when I opened it up and was going to sort of match in here. And I'm gonna be keeping this, so 
you know, I wanted something that was going to, you know, sort of kind of all coordinate together. So let me show you what I picked out. Put that to the side. It's got a lot of glare to it, I'm sure. Um, so these are the four tabs that I picked and this one is be kind to yourself and to others. And this one is find your balance. And this beautiful flower, um, flower on here, just breathe. And then I really thought this was beautiful. Do not let the behavior of others destroy your inner peace. And I just liked the way that the tabs all kind of like coordinated together. And I really liked what they all said. All right, so now obviously the back of this needs to be covered up because of course, I'm not gonna leave it like that. So that is what this paper is for. And this is the sketch paper from another Happy Notes. I've got a lot of paper and I found that this is probably the easiest way to cover up the back of this right here. So I'm gonna be doing that. And then I need an, I do have one folder in that particular notes already, but I want a second one. And I had this one, this was like the one, I swear this is like probably one of the first things I ever bought from the Happy Planner. And it is a little tattered. So I am going to kind of fix it up a little bit you know, fix it up and make it a little bit more sturdy. And I think it'll work because I really don't need any more of those folders. So I don't really necessarily want to go and get like a whole new pack of folders. And I didn't have any other one beside that one that would match well in there. And then I have some cardstock paper that I will be trimming down and punching that. And then let's see. Then I also have these pocket folders, which if you've never seen them, these are actually to hold the little pocket cards, like this right here. Like this is the mini size, and then these are the classic size. And these come in three, I think it's three, four, I think four different kinds. So they come in this one where it's like all of the little squares, and then it comes in like this um, like all like four pockets there and then this one here is like the two and then the one and then this is just like a half all right so I'm going to show you how I use those as well and then I am going to be using some washi I pulled some washi and a few other things all right so let's go ahead I'm going to clear this out and the first thing I'm going to do is take out like all of the personal information in here. So I'm gonna do that and I will be right back. Okay, so I went ahead and I took all of the personal information out and I am now just left with like the shell. So I've got the front cover. I left this um, folder in here because I'm go that's going to stay in here. And then of course I've got the back cover and then I'm keeping the discs that I have on there because I really like them. I like the alternating and I think they look really cute with that cover. Now the things that I took out of there are just these few things and not sure, I'm definitely going to be using this and I'm definitely going to be using that. I'm not sure if I'm going to be using these things or not. So in the meantime, I'm just gonna put them to the side. All right, so as far as the um, having this prepped and ready to fill, that is ready. So I'm just gonna put that to the side for now. And the next thing that I'm going to work on are creating these tabs. All right, so I have the four tabs here. And I've got the four paper, four pieces of paper here. And then I'm gonna be using my Tombow tape. And all I'm going to do is tape this on here like that. And the reason why I like using this, there's different things that you could use. You can use just like a plain piece of like printer paper. Um, I've even used in before like sticky paper, which is also pretty easy to do. The only thing is, is that, you know, if you do that, you wanna like maybe not cover up the tab because it's really a pain to have to like um, cut around there. So as I'm talking, I'm gonna just, start putting this tape down and 
what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna do it on like the three edges. Because I've also found that it seems to just be better when you leave like that side empty, like without the tape. Let's see, I want to obviously lay this down straight. It's like when I talk, I can't do stuff at the same time. <laughs> I, have to be, I have to be careful. Let's see, here we go. I think we should be good. Yep, all right, awesome. Yeah, because if you lay it down, it's really hard to take it back up. So now I could just leave it like that, but I don't want this purple on this side. So I mean, if I wanted to, like I said, I could just leave it and that would be it, but I don't want to do that. I want to use one of these washies to cover that up. And I'm sort of favoring either this like peachy one, which is really pretty, but I think I'm going to actually end up going with the black. And the reason why is because it's going to really cover up that purple. So let's... Now, when I open this, which way do I want these to be? Do I want them like that? Or do I want them like that? Oh my goodness, so many decisions, right? All this, what do you think? This way, this way, I don't think it really matters. Okay, I'm gonna do it this way because I think it just might be easier for me to line it up and put it down. And then of course, once I put this washi on, I will have to repunch this because I'm gonna to need to make those holes. All right. And when I slice the washi, I really like using a metal ruler. It just, to me, is like a nice clean cut. You can use whatever you want. That's just what I like. All right, so here we go. And then, of course, I will go have to punch these. And I swear when I punch things, it's like, I wanna make sure this is cleared out. And punching washi can be kind of like a pain because the stickiness will get caught on the punch. So let's see, maybe, I don't know. And with this, of course, you really wanna make sure that the paper is like pushed all the way in because believe me, I have punched things and I put them in and they're not like all the way in and then, you know, you punch it and then that's it. All right, let's hope for the best. Okay. Yay, all right, so we are good to go and that one is done. Oh, it's, it's nice, I like it, I'm happy. I'm happy with the way it turned out. Okay, so now I'm going to do the other three the same way. All right, I am very happy with these. Now I need to uh, put some labels on there. All right, so I go into my colorful boxes and I have one here already that I had deconstructed when I first started using my stickers. And let's see, I don't even think I have any left actually. Oh. I don't think it matters. Let's let's pull up a new book. Because I'm thinking that I just probably want to put like, well, for sure I'm going to put black on here. And these, I'm going to show you, these are the best to use on your tabs. These little guys right here, perfect. I'm going to grab my tweezers because I like, because I like my tweezers. Tweezers are awesome. Okay. Look at how that is like needs to be trimmed. Okay. All right. So there we go. And I'm going to trim this right now because That is much better. Okay, so you see how those work nicely on there. Now on the back side, 
I'm not sure if I really want to like use a sticker on there. I might just use like a white sticker to cover the backside because I really don't need the backside to be labeled. So let's go ahead and lay these down. And I'm taking this one off because it's really not like all the way at the edge. There we go. Oh, that's gonna be so nice. I'm so happy with this so far. Now, the question becomes, do I want to stay with the black on there or maybe do a gold, but then that's like a bronze and, hmm, let's see. Or, I might just put one of these peachy ones on here. That, that would work. It'll work, but will I be happy with it? Let's put it on and find out. Oh yeah, I like that. That's so pretty, I love it. Okay, so now the problem becomes this one right here because this is a bronze, it's not gold. So the gold would look really weird on there. Let's see. Yeah, it's definitely not gonna do the gold because that would be weird. So either I do a black one or I do one of those peachy ones. Hmm, I wonder. Maybe the peach one would look okay, let's see. I think I'm gonna go with the peach. I did not think I would do that, but I think it'll look, well, it's gonna look better because look at, uh, there's no black on here at all. And that just looks a lot nicer. Oh my gosh, I love it. Look at that, it's so pretty. I'm so excited. All right, so now I gotta cover up the back. So I think the best thing to, that I, to do is to use this sticky paper. I love this. It's Avery full sheet stick, sticker paper and it's thick. It adheres really, really well. And I like just the full sheet because then you can cut it however you want. And I think that's what I'm gonna do here. So, I am like very much a person that just like eyeballs stuff pretty much a lot. So I'm just gonna kinda trim this down a little bit. And it's a little bit too wide, so I think that would probably be good. Let's see here. Yeah, that works. Okay, so now I need to I'm thinking that will work. Let's see. Definitely work. All right, so let me cut a few of those. Where did I go? I think I went right there. I have so much fun like with these like little projects. All right. It's always nice to make things that are, or buy things that are like already made and set and ready to go. But there's just something satisfying about like doing it yourself. You know. Now the one thing with this paper is that sometimes it's really hard to find the edge. Okay, perfect. This is like very sticky by the way.
Let's see, it's like nice and thick and it covers it up. I like it. All right, so let's do the other three. Okay, so now my tabs are ready. Oh my gosh, I love the way that is coming along. I'm so excited. Okay, so now I'm going to use this right here as a pattern. And I'm not sure if I'm gonna actually use this one again or not, but, and then I'm going to cut these because this color is a little bit different and I sort of want them all to match, but, and just gonna kind of measure it out. And like I said, I'm just using it as a pattern here. And then that way I could cut it. Yes, I could probably just measure it and cut it, but I don't know. This is like what I usually do. I love this paper cutter. It is awesome. It's a Fiskars paper cutter and I got it at Michael's. I got it a little while back. I actually got it when, I think I made that a little thick. Let's see. Is that gonna be too wide? Ah, uh, I made it a little wide. Oh no. It's when you have to trim that little tiny sliver is when things go wrong. All right, let's see. I think we're good. Oh yeah, okay, perfect. So as I was saying, I got this like when I was getting married and I was like doing a lot of like DIY stuff for the wedding and I love my paper cutter. Oh my gosh, it's awesome. All right, so let's go ahead and do the other ones. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just trace them all, cut them all, and then, of course, punch them. I think something like this is the next thing that Happy Punter needs to come out with. Um, it's just kind of like dashboards, just dashboards like this, not with the tab or anything. Um, I think that that would be an awesome new item for them to carry, just saying. All right, so let's go ahead now. Ah, oh, everything's like all over the place. Okay, now I have to, I have to label these. So I made myself a little bit of a list. I want this first one to be labeled information. All right, so I'm just going to use my Tombow pen here. This came in a set. Um, the other one that came with it is actually great for lettering. It's a really small like brush pen, it's awesome. All right, let me put my list to the side here. So this one's going to be information. And this one I'm going to label current. And I usually like to set them to the side. It usually dries really well, but I like to err on um, the side of caution. So I'll just put it to the side and then that way um, I won't smear anything. This one I'm going to label primary. And then this last one is going to be specialist. So let's talk about this poor, sad little folder. Oh my goodness. So the folders um, from Happy Planner are awesome. I love them. The pocket folders, they're two-sided. But um, this one has definitely seen better days because I couldn't decide what I really wanted to put it, you know, where I wanted to put it. So it's been like in and out of um, different planners and, you know, just sort of in my 
stash of extra stuff. So I need to make this a little bit more secure, obviously, because it is tattered. All right, so I decided to grab these two washi and I just don't know which one I want. I think I want the polka dots or do I want to throw the stripes? I don't know, let's do the stripes because it's all polka dot. And honestly, I wish it did, I wish it had something else on there, but I'm going to use this for now. If I get something else, then I can always switch it out. All right, so I'm gonna turn this around because it's just easier for me to see. And I think what I'm gonna try to do is wrap the washi around to really give it like, make it like nice and secure. Let's see. All right, so that's a good start. Let's turn it around here. And let's see how this turns out. All right. And yes, I do realize that it extends, but I'm fine with that. I'd rather it be a little bit further out because I'm gonna trim it down. And I just hope that that's gonna be like dirty enough. I think it'll be good. All right, so I'm going to trim that excess washi down and I'm going to use my paper cutter to do it because it's sort of extending enough that I should have enough there to work with. I was gonna regret that. Okay, good. Yay, it worked out. Okay, so I am pretty happy. That's definitely like gonna be more sturdy. Now let's see how this punches out because this is a little bit thicker and this whole punch is awesome, but it only takes so much thickness. Seems good. Ooh. Yes, it is good. Just a little couple, eh, a couple of hiccups here. Let's see. All right. Definitely going to have to use some scissors just in a couple of spots here. Like I said, that's the thing about punching anything that has like stickiness to it. It can get caught up in the punches and then, yeah, can block the punches. So, and I think we're good. Oh my goodness, that is cute. That's cute, I like it, I'm happy. All right, so now I'm ready to put this together. I've got all of the pieces that I need and a couple of extra things. Now, I'm not sure where I want this folder to go just yet, but everything is pretty easy because, let's see, let's, oh, I don't have these in the right order. So I need to have them in the right order and then they're gonna need like a backing here and here, okay. So that is how everything's gonna go in. And then that way I could just start loading this in. So I'm gonna keep this folder, let's see. Do I wanna keep that folder in the back? And then, hmm, so many decisions. I think, yes, yes, I think that's what I'm gonna do. Okay. I 
I'm so excited about this because I absolutely love being organized and this is going to be so nice to look at. And I picked out some really pretty tabs and I like them. All right, oh my gosh. Look at how pretty that looks. I'm so excited. Okay, so now I definitely want to put this in here. Okay. And I don't really like that on top of there, so I think I'm gonna put this back in here. I really like to open up this notes and I love these little pocket cards it says hello put on your positive pants you've got this and then just some like little decor down here I this is the card by itself and then this one I just like decorated a little bit with washi and it's just really pretty and yeah when you um, you know have responsibilities like this it's really nice to have something just like really like nice quotes to open it up to and be like yes you've got this it's gonna be okay I am so excited about this oh my goodness and I might have to reinforce that a little bit more but we'll see how that works it'll work out great at least in the meantime and I really like the way that looks with the stripe okay so now Obviously, I'm not gonna put the stuff back in here because it's all personal stuff, but I do wanna show you a few of the things and what I'm going to like, how I have this set up as far as like the tabs. So of course I have the folder in the front and you could put, you know, whatever you need to in there. And then this one right here is information. So under this tab right here, and then this is gonna be like the back. All right, so let me show you. So what I'm going to put in here is I made this log. It is a doctor appointment slash procedure log. So I think that this is so helpful because whenever you go to the doctor or any type of procedure that needs to be done, it's kind of nice to have that all logged in. All right. So you date it, you put the doctor um, and then you put like whatever appointment it was or procedure, all right? So let's say you're creating this for one of your children. You know, you put the date down, you put the doctor's name, pediatrician, annual visit. You know, maybe they needed to go in for a flu shot a different time, or maybe they needed to go to the dentist. You know, date that, put the dentist's name and just regular annual exam, things like that. So it's really nice because then you can open this up, from the information and then you've got a nice log and you know the last time you took your kid to the dentist or in my particular case, my parent to you know the doctor, whatever it is. So I made this up and I really, really like it and it was really simple to do. I think I did it, I think I did it on Canva. I use Canva a lot. It's a program that you can go to and it's free. Um, I do pay for it, but it's really um, like not much at all. It's like $13 a month and I use it all the time. I love it. So I think that's where I created this and yep, love it. All right, so the other thing that I will put under here, oop, got some, I've got some washi on my finger here. Um, all right, the other thing that I will put under this information tab will be a list of all of her medicines. So that's gonna go in here, all right? And then under the current, that one is going to be any current procedures or anything that is currently like the most important thing that's going on medically right now. So for example, if um, surgery, okay? Lots of pieces are involved whenever you have to go in for surgery. You know, you gotta do like your pre-op and you gotta do your blood work and you gotta, you know, whatever tests you need to have done and you're dealing with a couple different doctors. It's kind of nice to have like everything all in one spot. 
primary is just going to be that, your primary care physician information in there. All right, so the type of paper that I like to put in these notes is just very neutral. I like having the neutral paper in the notes and these are just extra papers. I think this might have come with another notes, but this definitely was like an extra paper pack that I bought and that's what I like in here. I don't mind having a tab that has like some decoration to it and um, but when I open this up and I'm sitting in the doctor's office, I sort of just like it to look very neutral and clean, not a whole lot of color going on. All right, and then the specialist, that is for, you know, any specialist doctors that you have to take um, them to. All right, so now in the back here, I like to use these right here. These pocket folders are awesome. They are great for business cards. All right, so here I just grabbed my business card, contact card, and see it fits in there, perfect. I love it. You can fit like three this way, three, so like six in here. And I like it because they're easy to pull out whenever you need them. So this is awesome to have in here. And these other ones, are great for anything that's like a little bit bigger that you need to put in here. Some cards are a little bit bigger. So that's pretty awesome. I love these for that. I'll put like reminder cards, all different kinds of things in here. And what I'm going to do is I'm gonna use this right here this tab dashboard, and then that way I can open that up right away to that back. All right, and then back folder, and then sometimes I'll put like extra paper back in through here. But I usually just try to fill in the extra paper in through here. So I do wanna show you these little stickers that I make, and I don't have a Cricut or a Silhouette cutting machine, anything like that. So I just um, print them out on the um, sticky paper that I talked about earlier, that Avery sticky, sticky paper, and I just cut them out. You know, I just use my slicer, cut them out, and I like the idea of having the these little stickers because when you go to the doctor's offices um, and... I like to put the date. So I'm gonna just take this off here and show you what I mean. So you could put on this side, you could put on this side. I think I'm gonna put mine over here. And then that way you could put, oh, and I laid that down really crooked. Oh, well, I don't think it matters. I don't think it matters, but it matters to me, so therefore it matters. Okay, there we go. All right, so there, you're like all set. You can go ahead and write the date and the doctor that you are seeing. You have all of your notes in there, and then whenever like you fill up that section for that, you know, if you've got more paper left, then you just lay another sticker down the next time you go, and then you could do the same thing like on the back side. And that is my plan for these little guys. All right, so I am pretty happy with the way that this turned out. I love the way that this looks. It's gonna be so super functional for me. And I am really, really excited about putting all of her stuff back in here and having this up and ready to go. Oh my goodness. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that you got some own ideas for yourself or for a family member to set up a Happy Notes to use um, for medical needs. All right, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell, that way you will not miss any of my content. And I am also on Instagram, so be sure to head over there and look for me at it's a wonderful plan and follow me there because you will see things there you do not always see here on my YouTube. All right, thank you so much and have a wonderful week. Bye.